In this video, I'm going to explain anatomy of basal ganglia. What is basal ganglia? Basal ganglia includes three parts, caudate nucleus, putamen, and globus pallidus. These three structures together, it is called basal ganglia. What is function of basal ganglia? Main function is modulation of movement. What is modulation? It is the balancing how much force you need to use, how much acceleration you need to use, how much brake you need to use to accomplish smooth movement. If basal ganglia is not working very well, your movement becomes very weird. It's like a robot movement. Because of basal ganglia is functioning well, we can move smoothly. This is very important function, correct? Main function is modulation of movement. Many researches reveal basal ganglia has something to do with learning, cognitive function, and emotion. So basal ganglia is not only the motor function part, but also this can do so many things. Okay, now let's go to specific anatomy. Let's go to this one, caudate nucleus. This contour shape is caudate nucleus. Caudate nucleus has three parts. This part is head, head of caudate nucleus. This is body and this is tail. Head, body, and tail. This is putamen, putamen. Caudate nucleus and putamen together, these two guys are called corpus striatum. Caudate plus putamen is corpus striatum, okay? I remove caudate nucleus and I flip. Now you see purple structure. This is globus pallidus. Here, you are looking basal ganglia from anterior view. This is head of caudate. This is putamen. This part is globus pallidus. Globus pallidus has two parts, external globus pallidus and internal globus pallidus. Putamen and globus pallidus together, these guys are lentiform nucleus. Caudate plus putamen is corpus striatum. Putamen plus globus pallidus is lentiform nucleus. Okay, the relationship is very important. Putamen is lateral. Globus pallidus is medial. Head of caudate and globus pallidus is kind of on the same level. Okay, now let me talk about relationship with other structure. I put caudate again. What I want to focus is this one. This indicates internal capsule. Internal capsule is a pathway of the nervous fibers. Now I want to talk about relationship with internal capsule and basal ganglia. This pathway is very important because corticospinal tract runs here. Corticospinal tract is from motor cortex of cerebrum and it goes to skeletal muscle. That's why this area is very, very important. Internal capsule is like L-shaped structure, like this, l shape. Imagine this is L. Outside of internal capsule, there is lentiform nucleus. What is lentiform nucleus? It's combination of putamen and globus pallidus. Lentiform nucleus outside from internal capsule. Okay. Then medial to internal capsule, there is head of caudate plus thalamus here. Okay. Outside from internal capsule, there is lentiform nucleus. Inside from internal capsule is head of caudate 
plus thalamus. Okay. Let me remove caudate. Now you see relationship more clearly. Okay. This is internal capsule. This is thalamus. You know, thalamus is medial to internal capsule. Imagine this is head of caudate, this area. See? This is head of caudate. It's medial. It's inside from internal capsule. And this area, there is lentiform nucleus, putamen plus globus pallidus. This relationship is very, very important to read MRI, okay? Again, internal capsule, lentiform nucleus, thalamus, and head of caudate. Let me put caudate nucleus again. Now you can see more clear vision, okay? Aha! Uh -huh. Head of caudate, thalamus, inside. Lentiform nucleus, outside, okay? Now let me put ventricle, and you can see relationship with ventricle. This light green structure is lateral ventricle. What I want you to focus is relationship with caudate nucleus and lateral ventricle. Caudate nucleus runs along with lateral ventricle, right? So this is lateral ventricle. This is caudate nucleus. It's very, very close, okay? So this is the relationship with caudate nucleus with lateral ventricle. In this video, I explained basic anatomy and function of caudate nucleus. It includes three structure, okay? Caudate nucleus, putamen, globus pallidus. They have very strong relationship with internal capsule. If you liked today's video, please hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. See you next video.